How is quantum going to change the world of business in 2025, or is it? Is this a 2026 story? Are we going to see meaningful developments involving quantum computing next year? Right. So two phases, two stages to quantum. Right now, we're using quantum on GPUs, on NVIDIA GPUs today. We announced the partnership over this past year with NVIDIA, with Jensen and his team. It's going really well. The ability to adapt these equations of molecules, molecules speak quantum, that's the language they speak, on GPUs, on the NVIDIA chips and other chips like that. So that's today's stage of quantum. Coming up in the next few years, we'll start having quantum computers from places like Alphabet, Google, from other companies like SciQuantum, IonQ, that's a public company that IBM. went up. It was exactly, and others. And we're going to start actually merging and having QPUs, quantum process units, alongside GPUs. Well, what does that do, Jack? I mean, we're, we're throwing out a lot of words. Yeah. <laughs> GPUs and QPUs. It's a little head spinning. Yeah, but what is that actually going to do? We try to have as much jargon do? as possible, Frank. As much jargon <laughs> as possible. Because wasn't AI supposed to change the world? So you can't change the world twice within yeah. a couple years, these right? Are, these are two synergies. And so um, where do you get the actual data from to understand how to make that next drug, how to make that drug for cancer? The quantum world gives us that because when a drug is interfacing with a tumor, that's a quantum interaction. And so the quantum world, be it on GPUs right now or be it on quantum computers in the future, it gives us that data. Then you apply AI to it. So it's a two-step process. Quantum gives you the data. AI gives you the patterns and the prediction. That's how it interacts.